Aaron, just what were, was going through your mind as you're watching those innings unfold from the seventh on? <laughs> um, you know, it's it's harder watching up in the clubhouse when when you're on a on a little delay and you're just, you know, uh, just obviously living and dying with every pitch. But um, you know, that game's just kind of, I think. Uh, who these guys are it's not, it hasn't been easy at all all year but they just keep on competing they keep on coming and so many people did stuff tonight you know especially for the offense to come come on later you know I thought we had some good at bats early on uh, against Hernandez but then he got in a groove and kind of just shut us down and uh, but they strung together a ton of key at bats over and over again uh, we got enough out of the pen tonight and um, just just proud on, on a scorching hot night. They just kept coming. You mentioned the offense. Luke Voigt had a pretty solid night. RBI single in the seventh, the home run in, in the ninth. He had spoken the other day about how disappointed he was in himself to not be able to come up in some key situations yesterday. Just what do you think a night, night means for Voigt? Yeah, he slowed down finally. You know, first couple of bats, you know, I, th I think – and I think part of it is physically he feels really good, so he knows he can really cut loose and let it go. But I, I really felt like he made a really solid adjustment from his third at bat on, even into his last at bat where he smokes the ball to left for the out. Um, you know, just being more under control, not trying to do too much, and trusting that, you know, his, you know, getting a good swing off is plenty. He doesn't have to hit it to the moon. Um, and, and we see him easily go out the other way in a big ballpark and just put together some really good at bats and and that's him you know he's a he's first and foremost a really good hitter um and the power will be there when he's in in good solid position but i just thought he made a really nice adjustment in the mi middle of the game and 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 threw up quality of bat after a quality of bat from there why did you take so much issue with the ball call ball call ball call <laughs> um I just felt like, you know, he, he rolled into it and, and rolled right into his step off. And um, I just, it's just such a bad rule that, that, that that's a balk. So, and I just felt like, you know, as he started up, he went into his step off. I even even got to see it on replay. It's hard to pull up anything here. You're just, you're watching everything on a delay. So, um, you know, I probably, you know, uh, I was a little frustrated with the call the inning before, and I think it just spilled over, but probably something I shouldn't have done. Dave Lennon, you have the next question. Hey, Aaron, with Tyone going to get him after 87 pitches, you mentioned before, it was a pretty hot night. Did you think he was just at the end of his rope there? I know you had the bullpen lined up, too. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I necessarily felt like he was at the end of his rope. I, I did think for as well as he pitched and his stuff was good, it was a little bit of a grind for him. You know, he's, you know, usually such a strike thrower that, you know, it, it was it was a lot of he, he wasn't throwing as many strikes as he normally does. And I think made some made some really sound adjustments in the game although I thought his stuff was really good and obviously he pitched really well going into the seventh inning but I just felt like you know having low set up there um for the bottom and coming back around the top and into and knowing I got Greeny or Britt behind him um you know I was going to go hitter to hitter with them and and when Rivera you know rolled the two got the two strike hit on the breaking ball up the middle I just felt like at that point, I def I, I absolutely wanted to go to low. And and I know you weren't in the making these decisions because you were gone by then, Aaron. But just for, you know, your bullpen, you know, one or two guys can have a tough night. But it seemed like the guy, every guy tonight had scuffled in, in different spots, you know, whether it was losing guys count-wise. I mean, how rare is it to see, to kind of see the whole the whole squad have a, have a tough night like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, you know. <sighs> Yeah, I thought Lowe was maybe a little bit off. I actually thought, thought Britt stuff-wise was, again, really good. You know, obviously losing Merrifield on the walk kind of cost him, and then Lopez got him with a pitch up and out over the plate, but I thought stuff-wise was good. And then, look, I mean, these extra innings are tough to navigate. When you come in there and you got a runner on second already, it's 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 a little bit unique, and and give the Royals credit. I mean, they, they battled and, and gave some really tough at-bats, 
um, and, and came up with, with some really clutch hits with, you know, two outs, two out, down to their last out strike. They kept coming. Um, so credit to them, but um, it's not always going to be perfect. But these guys just, you got to continue to just move forward, move forward. Conti the next The next pitch is the most important.